Do you want it closer? Uh, no, that's fine. Okay. It's gonna collapse. It's the whole table's gonna flip over. Welcome, everybody, dear listener, today to the From Start to Finish podcast. I am Morgan Murphy, your host. I do marketing things here. And I have Andrew with me. Andrew, what is it that you do here? Um, I make boots. I'm a boot maker, and I also co-manage the the shop. Mm -hmm. Yep. And sometimes gives us great marketing ideas. I try. Yep. And um, he's full of them. This this is the man that brought to you Nick's Snacks. I just want to say. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so if you're familiar with that, listeners, that <laughs> that was all Andrew. Um, also, we do quote you sometimes on our quote wall. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What was the last quote that you had on there? The last one or the like the most recent the, one? The most recent one. Goth girl, summer, full swing. Yeah. There you go. Amazing. Um, and those are words to live by. Okay. Now. We're talking about boot last, like I said, today. We'll define what a last is. We'll talk about why people should care about it. But first, a little caveat on sizing. So um, sizing can be a thing that is a little difficult and challenging when you're getting boots for the first time, um, even your second or third time. So we base our sizing on the Brannock. Um, If you do need sizing help, we have videos that will link. I'm pointing nowhere, but we'll link them somewhere, um, and you'll be able to find them there. The link will be where Andrew pointed the first time, Um, but you'll be able to find that video for sizing help, all of that. So we're not going to cover too much of that in this video. However, your last or the last type does kind of affect your sizing, right, Andrew? Yes, for sure. Cool. Um, So when I talk about a last, for people who are not familiar, what is a last? It's uh, just the term for the foot mold that you see right here, the different kinds of foot molds that we have, different styles. Um, but yeah, the, the boot making term is last. Okay. So back in the day, would a cobbler like make a mold of my actual foot and keep a last in their little shop? Uh, I think it kind of depends on how frequently you went to the and okay. got shoes. I think um, I think they just had like test boots and they okay. would have like powder and you would try one on and then they would look inside and see mm. where your foot fell. And that's where they kind of generally okay. found your size. Gotcha. All right. Um, and then these are just general sizing shapes and things. Um, there are – there's a lot of history on boot lasts, which I have found kind of fascinating getting into them, like learning about the Thurman on that one history of the Thurman. The, the Munson. Yeah, or the Munson, yeah. The history of the Munson one. That was really interesting to listen to how that all happened. So um, who knew? I would be so excited about lasts. Let's start <laughs> from right to left to go over the last. oh, actually, I'm so sorry. I forgot to ask. Okay, so the last is the actual like mold that the boot is made around, right? Right, yep. Um, why would people care about what last is being used in their boot? It's a little bit of fit and a little bit of style. So if you like a more pointed toe, you're going to trend more towards the 5812 and the I think it's the 5332. Um, and then if you have a bigger, more splayed out foot or you want a little more room, you start to transition more into like maybe the, the Thurmans or if you want more upward toe mm. um, space, you could do the 67 sprung. Okay. Now, are the are, do they have good applications for like heritage to work or do we kind of have overlap for the different last um, types? You know, I think they're, they're pretty universal between, I think it's just personal preference. Okay. I don't think you, the, the application where you're going to be wearing them matters too much as far as just how it feels on your foot, right? So I've heard that some um, wildland guys like the 67 because going up and down um, terrain, you can get a little bit more, you know, movement if you're sliding a little bit forward or backward, Okay. you know. So you get a little more comfort, I think, there, I've heard. But as far as just general fit, as long as it fits well, okay. it's just kind of a preference, I would sure. say, unless you're looking more towards arch. Okay. That's where it kind of gets a little, you know, what arch do you prefer? Right. Okay. That makes sense. Let's start with the last in front of me right now. So this is the Becca boot. I know that. But what last is Becca made on? Uh, the 67. Okay. Can you tell me a little bit about that one? 
Yeah, so it, it's it's a moderate high arch with the 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 shape of the toe as you're looking down on it is similar to the 55. You just have more room in the toe box upward. Okay. Yeah, you just have a little more clearance here. It kind of comes up and then transitions down into the top of the foot. Okay, and you can definitely see that in the, yeah. like the finished product of the boot. But as and, far as um, arch goes, it's very similar, you know, between the 55, the 67, the um, the Thurman 55, and then the two more pointed toes, the 5812 and the 5332, all of the arches are very similar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right, now this one, which boot is this, firstly? This is the 55 last, and then it's got a toe structure on there. So if you're wanting toe structure, you're going to be kind of limited to the H&W and the 55. Okay. Um, but... It has a similar shape to the the 67, except it kind of it narrows here in the toe. So it's a little more restrictive. But again, if you want the structure of the toe, like the, the comps and the steels, mm -hmm. you're going to have to stick with the 55s and the H&Ws. Okay. Yeah. Um, so that's a great question. To get a steel toe or a comp toe work boot, you, those are your only two last options? Or do you have yeah, other last options? That's pretty much it, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Um, perfect. Now, the next one that we have there, what is that? I believe that's the H and W, right? Yeah. So the next one is uh, H and W. So the H and W comes out a little bit wider here, not as much as our our Thurmans, um, and then it has a lower arch. Mm -hmm. But the 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 actual shape of the toe is pretty similar to the fifty five, except right here. But height wise, it's about the same. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can definitely see the arch, like compared to this oh, one. Oh, for sure, yeah. For that, the difference in that fit there, interesting. You know, if we we take the H and W now, and if you like the feel of a fifty five, the arch, but you want a wedge, our solution is the Delta Arch. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's where we kind of we do some some fancy internal stuff to give it a little more lift and a little bit of arch support in there to make it feel similar to the fifty five. It's not quite because you can see the difference between the arches in the 55 mm -hmm. and the H&W. And you can't fully compensate for all that, but I think that the deltas give a very unique f feel. Mm -hmm. uh, they're my favorite, the delta arches. I don't wear anything else besides okay. the built-in. And if I do wear like a regular H&W or sneakers, I use the inserts. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> so this one can be steel toe option, correct? Yeah, you can do steel toe and comp okay. toes on the H and Ws. Perfect. Um, and then otherwise, it's just going to be a preference for how you like the fit and the look of the actual. Boot. Right. Okay. And we do offer um, mock toes on pretty much everything except for the pointed toes, but okay. I would say they do look the best on the H and Ws. That it, the last shape lends itself well to have that nice sort of even mock toe. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Pro tip: if you want a mock toe. Get on the H and W. Yeah. Very nice. Recommended. Highly recommended. Um, perfect. Now the other two, like, have you done a Becca mock toe or seen a Becca mock toe? Um, I don't know if it's been on the Becca model itself, but definitely on the sixty seven last we've yeah, done mock toes. It does happen. I think we've done mock toes on pretty much all of the uh, non you know, so if you look at I think we have some old charts somewhere. Uh we used to reference the toes as like, this is a, a one point, a two point, a three mm, point. Mm -hmm. So anything three or above, I think um, the mock toes we do. And then on the more Western pointed toes, we do not. Okay, gotcha. I'll have to see if I can dig up that chart that you're referencing for the listeners. Do you know off the top of your head what he's talking about, Gills? Nope. Cool. Lucas probably <laughs> does. <laughs> I'll yeah, ask him. We can probably, if we've had it, we can find it. <laughs> okay, cool. I'll definitely look for that. Um, okay, so moving into these cute little blue lasts. Yeah. Which ones are these? These are our Thurman lasts. Um, so the the NW, this one's the 55. So it has the same arch as the 55. It just splays out for, you know, a, a better sort of toe splay. Or if you have wider feet, this one is good for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I don't. I don't have wider feet, but... Um... Those that do. People, you know, who, those who get these, I, I hear a lot of positive things on, okay. on our socials about the our Thurmans. Awesome. And what's the difference between these two Thurmans right here? Um, so the, the, the toe shape is pretty much the same. You just transit. It's basically the difference between the H&W and the 55 in arch. Mm -hmm. But the toe shape itself is... 
pretty much the same. Okay. So with a the Thurman, it's really going to be the arch. That's going to be the difference. There. Right. Yeah. And you can see there, you can, you have a, on the 55 version, you have a slightly larger instep. Mm -hmm. And that's more of a more lower profile instep. And that just, it's this, you know, the pushing above the arch. Right. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I definitely see that. Um, any applications for this one? Can be work, can be heritage, like any limitations that you can think um, of for those? No, I know you can get the Delta Arch on the Thurman NWs. Um, it kind of solves the same problem that, you know, the H&W, or the, sorry, the 55 with the wedge soles. You know, you can you can transition that into the wider toe, but okay. other than that, they're just, they're, they're very similar. They're just bigger in the toes, more room, more comfort. Uh, these last two that we have there, what are those? Yeah, so this one here is our... Five three three two, and it's it's more pointed than the fifty five, right? Mm -hmm. But it has a very similar arch, and then one step further is uh, the fifty eight twelve. So just a, a slightly more point. Yeah, much to pointed. it. Yeah, and this one's more for like a more Western look. Mm -hmm. um, but both, I would say, are pretty close to the that that sort of Western pull on look, especially if you get like a toe bug or something. Yeah. Yeah. I would say save your mock toes for these ones and save your toe bugs for these ones. Gotcha. Okay. Another pro tip for you. Um, we covered that the Thermalass... Oh, wait. So Thermalass are not compatible with safety toes? No. So we, we're currently looking into it. We, we have some solutions that, you know, we, we're, we're communicating with our suppliers on the safety toes and we're looking at some options, um, but... It's in the works, okay. essentially. Yeah. Right. So not yet, but is coming up. And the 67 lasts are not compatible with safety toes due to the sprung toe. Yeah, it's the the clearance of it of the toe. They they just don't make that sort of very large. And if they did, the gap between because before when we were looking, the toe comes up and kind of comes back down. Mm -hmm. And so if we were to put a safety toe on that, that clearance right there, there'd be a lot of air. Okay. And so, you know, it, it, the safety toe would move around mm -hmm. or you could have some weird stuff going on with the leather as it creases right there. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. So mostly people don't need to stress about the last. Like when I came on board, I thought like if I chose the wrong last for my boot, it would just be completely ruined, which I guess if you had a very particular look, it could be. Yeah. Um, but really the last is just going to be the shape, the fit. You could get a good fit from any last as long right. as you properly size your boot to exactly. your foot, right? Yeah. Um, and then other than that, it's just style points that you're going for or style right. preferences. Yeah, you only start seeing the the limitations and the restrictions when you start wanting to add things like mm -hmm. the safety toes or the mock toes or the toe bugs and things like this. Gotcha. Yeah. If you're looking to customize your boot and you're having to make the decision for the last that you're on, hopefully this video explained to you what the differences are, maybe gave you some examples that you can reference on the table as far as look. If you're not sure what you would do or you're still a little confused by the lasting process, or not the process, but the, the last that you should choose, you could always just go with a boot that we've designed and set up that isn't a made to order or build your own boot. It's just one that you can customize your leather, but keep everything else how you see it. And then it kind of takes the guesswork out of it, which I think is nice. I would agree with that. Awesome. I appreciate that so much. Um, do you have a last here that you dislike the most? But just personally, not for everybody else, of course. Um, a lot of my likes and dislikes come from ease of manufacturing. Mm -hmm. So the 67s, that clearance of the sprung toe sometimes, especially when you start doing like toe caps, mm -hmm. sometimes can be frustrating. Because um, the more distance you have to cover on the toe, um, especially, you know, and it's not just for the 67s, but as you start getting super wide, especially with like the, the Thurmans, um, it's harder to have that leather stretch and be tight and have your pleats underneath as you're building, mm -hmm. they tend to try to run or to get rid of, um, you know, weird wrinkles. So if you have like a particularly boardy run of a work leather, sometimes the Thurmans and the 67s, they don't want to be built, it feels. Mm. But um, as far as aesthetics, you know, I, I I really want to try a pointed toe on a Chelsea. Ooh. Like a, I don't know if I would go 5812. Mm. It's a little too pointy for me. Yeah. But uh, a 
um, five three three two would be pretty cool. I think with okay. the Chelsea. Yeah, right. but like I said, I'm pretty stuck on the H and W Delta Arch just for the feel of it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, do you think you might try that for your next employee boot? Yeah, I think I'm gonna do a pointed toe. Oh, <gasps> hey okay. Yeah. We'll have to follow up with some photos, video. Are you gonna do a Chelsea? Yeah, I had a Chelsea before, but Nick. Nick got it. He he wanted it so badly, so I gave it to Nick, my Chelsea's. What? Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, I got I have too many boots. No, but you're gonna are you gonna build one with the pointed toe? Yeah, I think I'm gonna do the five three three two. Is that, but, okay. That. Yeah, I yeah, want to see that for the, sure. When you look at Chelsea's, um, I see some that are like the H and W, right? That kind of wider, mm -hmm. but I think like the dressier ones are it's just so sleek looking. Mm. Yeah, it's a nice shiny brown or black. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah. Mm -hmm, with yeah. a with a with a point. That'd be really cool. I might have to copy that for Chelsea's. I really do want a pair, especially after wearing that one for the shoot that we did. I've been too nice with my free boots. I keep giving them to people in my life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't feel like I can start giving boots away until I've got five yeah, yeah. or six pairs. Exactly. You have to be greedy at first. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you. That's not, then, that's not five or six, Kelsey. I don't yeah. know if you know that, but two is less than... No, I know. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. I'm just saying. But then I got a lot of, like, I got a lot of working men in my life. Kelsey's like, mm -hmm. kind and thoughtful. Yes. So... Yeah, I think I have five right now, pairs. And then after that, I think I've given away, like, four or five. Oh, wow. Yeah. I Generosity. Think this, yeah, this latest one I made for a family member is the, the Parkhurst. Oh, okay. Which is one we didn't talk about. <gasps> But no, and actually we're doing Parkhurst this they week. We don't own that one. We don't yeah. have so. that one. But for those who are curious, um, the Parkhurst, it's a low arch profile like this uh, H&W. It's just way more low profile along the toe and kind of comes to a, a more point. So it, it's not, it's somewhere in between, I think, the 5812 and the 5332, but it's not a very Western look. It's more of like a office sort of look. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And we're doing a Parkhurst this week. <laughs> when you're listening, you've already seen it. When I'm recording, we haven't done it yet. So, you know, it's coming. Yeah. Are, have, did you work on the, or are you working on the sample that we're making for that? I haven't got them yet. Not on my desk yet. But. I think we might just be using old photos that exist, actually, now that I think about it. We are. There's there's a new one we put through, but. We'll yeah. Have, okay. We'll That's my thought. The release. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. So you'll see one soon. Yeah. Cool. But as far as manufacturing in the Parkhurst, everybody in the boot making department loves them. Okay. Yeah. Nice wide plate underneath. Um, and then, you know, because it's so low profile, we don't have to struggle so hard to get mm. everything where we need to. Okay. Well, hey, there you go. Good if production likes it, I like it. But do you have any final words on lass? Um, you know, just whatever whatever floats your boat, whatever you like for style, Sweet. you know, as long as you're not Wanting to throw a, a comp on a 5812 or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and if, if you want something that's not super restrictive, but, you know, like a mock toe and you want it to look, you know, just just look online, look at some pictures. Um, we have a subreddit. I'm sure there's a bunch of different things on there to uh, everyone showing off their boots. So mm -hmm. browse that a little bit to see if you can find any add ons that you might want and then see if there's any existing combinations just to give you a better idea yeah whether or not you'd like it but for for fit can't go wrong with the delta arch all right there you go that's his plug for the delta arch also if you would like help you could always call our customer service they can talk you through the options if you're not sure what you want will work for your application or your need definitely ask and they'll be happy to help you decide um and they can also help you design your boot if you're not sure they make a lot of boots they see a lot of boots and a lot of boot orders. Um, so they, I think everybody in customer service has a pretty good eye for making a nice yeah. boot for somebody. We've seen it all. <laughs> if you think it's new, it's not new. <laughs> it's not new. <laughs> <laughs> all right. As always, we hope that this episode was helpful to you. You learned at least something a little new, even if it was just a fun fact about me or Andrew, because we're both super fun. And of course, you'll want to know those things. <laughs> um, Andrew, thank you for being here yeah, with for us. And thank you for having great quotes for our quote wall. Oh, you're welcome. That's a really yeah. important part of team building and, you know, yeah, morale. Yeah, keep morale up. Exactly. So, yeah. Yes, yes. Thank you. Um, if you have any questions from listening to this episode or about anything else, put them in the comments. Um, send us a message. Give us a call. Whatever you feel like. We're happy to help you with whatever you've got. And share this video with a friend who maybe wants to know a bit more about Lass. 
maybe you want to bother them a little bit, send them this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Let us know if you have any questions. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, boot besties.